What's up, YouTube? Jeff from The Graph Life. Uh, just got back from going to uh, some local card shops. I only have two, I believe. <laughs> the only two I know of, and they're not really local. Uh, about 20 minutes from my house. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but brown paper bag. That's, <laughs> that's the way they come uh, when you check out. But first shop I went to, uh, both of these are in Scranton. Um, uh, called Mace Cards and Coins. Uh, got a nice stack here um, and another card right here in a top loader I'll show that one last and then I'll go on to what I got at the uh, second shop but uh, I think I did pretty well I paid $18 total um, at both shops picked up some nice stuff uh, let me know what you guys think when you're done with the watching the video see if I did well or not uh, but for my family collection pick this uh, uh, Ken Griffey Senior, Junior, and then Craig Griffey. Uh, didn't I never really heard much about Craig Griffey, but I thought it was a pretty cool card to add to the family collection. Uh, then I picked up this. Could also go in my Phillies Tops collection, but decided I, I might be able to find another one of these, so I'm going to put it in my family collection for now. Uh, but father and son, uh, Bob and uh, Ray Boone. Um, also picked up some Diamond Kings. I got this one. Of Gary Carter from 82, uh, Pete Rose from 85, uh, a couple of them from 86. This is George Brett and Roger Clemens. And from 88, I picked up, um, ooh, Cowherman Jr. Um, then these next cards don't fit into my Phillies collection. That's what I was mostly looking for, was stuff for the Phillies collection, but. As one of my goals for the year is to add to my uh, rookie card collection. So I picked up this uh, Eric Davis 85 tops and uh, this 89 Donruss of uh, John Smoltz. So nice to add those to the rookie collection. I'm not really going to check it off because it's only a couple, but you know I am adding to it. So I guess technically yeah, it's a goal. Uh, but I wanted a biggest goal of the year was to finish the Phillies tops collection. All of these are going to the Phillies tops collection. Um, it's, it's tough. I don't, Mike O did it. I don't know how it's, it's, it's tough to find these cards and not break the bank. But uh, anyway, let's get into them. Uh, again, this is all from the same, the first shop that I went to, uh, from, uh, 69 tops. I got this Chris short, uh, also from 69 tops, got Jared Johnson. Uh, this card I actually had, this next card, I had it, uh, it's from 72 Tops. I had it signed, so it came out of my Phillies Tops collection and into my Phillies autograph collection, Greg Lazinski. Uh, from 73 Tops, I think I have this, but I'm pretty sure I saw that he was signing, so I got that to send TTM. I have to double check in my, uh, my Phillies binder, but I think I have that one already, not sure. If it is the case, though, that's going to go TTM. Uh, and then from 74 Tops... I got uh, Dick Ruthven, Cesar Tovar, Mike Rogodzinski. Rod <laughs> uh, picked up two on accident of these. Uh, oops. No, I didn't. Never mind. Wayne Twitchell, Terry Harmon, Larry Christensen. Uh, Mike Ryan, George Culver, and then the uh, team card from that year. Here's where I picked up two. Uh, from 75 tops, I got two uh, Bill Robinson. And I think I might already have this one, so again, I'll, I'll check if he's signing TTM, not sure. Um, also from 75, though, got Mike Anderson, Del Unser. They're sticking together. This is another one I got two of Wayne Twitzel. Um, Mark Scars, Baboon, Dick Ruffin, Larry Christensen, Tom Hutton, Eddie Watt. Uh, then now we get into uh, 76 tops. Picked up two Jim Longborgs. He signs TTM, so one's going to go out to him to get signed. Uh, I got this 76 rookie pitchers uh, because um, Randy Lurch is on it, so 
That counts. I'm, I'm getting them all. I'm going to try to anyway. Uh, now on to uh, 77 tops. Jim Lomborg, Ron Schuler, Bob Tolan. On um, this guy, I never knew that he played for the Phillies. I mean, because I was young. 78 tops, Jerry Martin. I knew him as the uh, Red Barons uh, hitting coach. <laughs> um, next up, we got some 79 tops. We got Barry Foote. Dick Ruffin, Jim Cott, Jose Cardinal, Tug McGraw, Gary Maddox, uh, now the lone 1980 tops that I got, Ron Reed, uh, now on to some 81, we got uh, Tug McGraw, the team card, which I had this, but it was signed by Dallas Green, so again, it was in the Phillies Tops collection and had to go into the Phillies Autograph collection. Same with this next card here, Sparky Lyle. Met him uh, down at PNC Field in Scranton. Signed that card for me. Said I was the only one to ask him for a Phillies card. Everyone else was going with Yankees stuff and I don't blame him. You know, Yankees affiliate and all, but I'm a Phillies fan. I uh, got this Victory Leaders. Steve Carlton's on there. Picked up a second one of them as well. That'll go into my uh, Hall of Fame collection. Uh, home Run Leaders. Mike Schmidt on there. Uh, RBI leaders, again Mike Schmidt on there, got a record breaker here, most consecutive seasons of 600 or more at bats, Pete Rose, uh, now we're moving, oh no, one more, and then I got this Mike Schmidt All-Star, now we're moving on to the uh, 82 tops, I got Sparky Lyle, home run leaders, Mike Schmidt, a highlight of Steve Carlton, here's Mike Schmidt, uh, got two of these again. Steve Carlton want to go into the Hall of Fame collection. One into the Phillies Tops collection. Got this Pete Rose. Uh, another highlight card of Pete Rose. Uh, got the All Star card of Mike Schmidt. And now we're on to the um, 83. Picked up one, Steve Carlton. And here is an 86, Mike Schmidt. I think I have this, not sure if I do, it'll go into the Hall of Fame collection. So, yeah, same with this next one from 87 tops. Figure, hey, if I already have that Schmidt, whatever. And this card I've never seen before, it's from uh, 2008 tops. I don't know if it's an insert or not, but it was cool. Picked it up. That's got Lee and Howard on it. So, that's going to definitely boost the uh, Phillies tops collection quite a bit. Uh, the last card that's in the top loader. Uh, is this Tyler Ennis autograph uh, from uh, Prestige, I believe. Yep, fourteen fifteen Prestige for the Syracuse collection. And the sticker is actually on the sleeve. I got worried when I got home and I was looking at it. It's on the sleeve, not on the top loader. So, um, not on the card, thank God. <laughs> uh, then the next shop didn't buy too much. This is my stack there. But I didn't pay, like, I paid a dollar. And it's it's insane I was able to pay a dollar. I went to Gary's, sports cards, a couple random pickups to start off. Didn't know Fernando Valenzuela was even a Philly. So I picked it up in case he ever starts to sign TTM again. I'll send it out. Uh, then same with Tom Quinlan, never heard of him. Figured I'd pick him up, send it out if he signs. Uh, Stu Clyburn picked him up because he was a pitching coach for Rochester, probably still is. I'll see him in person. Uh, Rick Langford picked that up because he's a rover with, I believe, the Buffalo Bisons, uh, so the Blue Jays. Um, so if I see them, I'll get them. Uh, then for the Phillies Tops collection, got this Dave Palmer from uh, 88 Tops Traded. I don't ever see too many Tops Traded, so I always pick them up. This card from 79 Tops, it's Bake McBride. It, it's taped back together, but I didn't have it, so I was like, ah, I can always upgrade, whatever. Uh, next card from 86 tops, Juan Samuel. Uh, now we're taking a step back from the Phillies now, and just, again, random pickups uh, for my collections. Two sports stars, uh, obviously Jim Thorpe uh, was just an all-around athlete, um, but great football player as well. So that will go either into my Hall of Fame collection or into my two sports stars uh, collection. And that's where this is going to go. Brian Jordan played in the NFL and 
uh, Major League Baseball, just not at the same time like Deion Sanders and Bo Jackson. Um, got this Diamond Kings, Gary Gaetti for the uh, Diamond Kings uh, sets I'm working on. A couple of Jeffs. I got Jeff Gardner and Jeff Kunkel. Jeff collection is growing. Uh, and then the last couple of rookies. This is Manny Ramirez, 92 tops. I mean, it's in like perfect condition. And I, I literally, I paid $1 for all these cards. Well, the second stack that I showed, not all of them. It's 18 total I paid on the day. I couldn't beat it. I don't think. Let me know what you guys think. Got this Biggio uh, 88 or 89 tops, rather, rookie. Uh, a couple of soft corners, but again, I paid less than 10 cents. Uh, so this is the big one, though. I, I couldn't believe it, but I got it. This is a 1979 tops Ozzy Smith rookie. Could not believe. I mean, it's not in the best of condition. It, it, it's pretty beat up. Uh, but it's not terrible. I mean, it, there's obviously some corner wear and stuff like that, and it is off center. But I, I couldn't believe it was in the in that box. I mean, the guy was just like, "Where'd you get these from?" I showed him, and boom. <laughs> so eighteen bucks for all this. Pretty excited about it. Let me know what you guys think. I think I did pretty well. Um, you know, I want to go try and find some more card shops within like an hour drive of me, uh, but. I don't know when I'm going to do my traveling, but I do want to do that at some point. Maybe check up uh, on some uh, websites, see if they have anything. Um, but those are the only two I was able to find that were relatively close. But I didn't really you know, try to do a lot of research. So, I mean, if I could score deals like this all over, I think I'm going to start doing it. Uh, shout out to Jab's family because I know he does it. Um, but again, I'm mostly going to be looking for... Phillies cards, and if I can add to some other collections and get some other stuff uh, for cheap, I'm going to do it. So that's my video for my card shop adventure today. Uh, let me know what you guys think. As always, like, comment, subscribe.